Go ahead. On the Middle East, uh, some progressive lawmakers have criticized the president's response to the violence. Uh, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says the president's comments reinforces the false idea that Palestinians instigated this cycle of violence. Uh, Representative Ilhan Omar has said the U.S. isn't doing enough to condemn the killing of Palestinian children. What's your response? Uh, well, well, first, let me take the second part of that. Let me be very clear. It is a tragedy uh, for the loss of any life, a uh, civilian, a child, uh, and we've certainly seen that as this violence has escalated. Uh, our objective and our approach is to uh, work with leaders in the region, uh, whether they're the Israelis or the Palestinians, or leaders from other countries who can play an integral role in influencing Hamas to de-escalate and move toward uh, a more stable peace. Uh, that's the role and that's the focus of the United States government. But that should not diminish the fact that any loss of life is a tragedy, and that's what we would convey. And on a very different topic, uh, yesterday we saw the president meeting in the Oval Office with the Big Four, mm -hmm. four vaccinated individuals. The Big Four. The Big Four. Um, yeah, we, they were all still wearing masks. You know, the CDC guidance says that, that vaccinated Americans can gather in small groups inside without masks. So why aren't we seeing the president model more of that behavior? Well. They were wearing masks. I can confirm that. You all saw that in photos. Uh, I know this has ruffled the feathers of the RNC. Uh, I'm, I'm always feel bad about ruffling their feathers. Uh, but I will say that uh, the focus of the meeting was on seeing if there's a way to work for, to move together to work uh, toward uh, shared uh, objectives of uh, investing in infrastructure, creating jobs for the American people, and I think that's what most people's focus is on. But. The argument has been that if you can take your mask off, that may incentivize others to get vaccinated, right? To be able to participate in some of the benefits of being vaccinated. But yet we aren't really seeing the president sort of take lead by example the on that. The president doesn't wear his mask when he's outside. That guidance is clear. Um, there were a number of people in the Oval Office yesterday. Uh, obviously, there were uh, there was a whole press pool. Uh, but again, I think uh, if. The big takeaway from the meeting yesterday, I think what most people look at it and take away, is that the president sat there with Democrats and Republicans. Uh, they all came out of the meeting uh, saying it was constructive, looking to see what the path forward could be about how we can create jobs and rebuild roads, rails, and bridges. And that was what the objective of the meeting was. Go ahead. 